And exactly, Aaron, that's what happens next is a monumental cleanup of this homeless camp, which is littered with syringes. As many as 200 people called this place home. Tonight, it's a ghost town. Friday morning, police, fire, and city leaders moved in to enforce a 72-hour notice to vacate the Santa Cruz homeless camp behind Ross. By 8.30 Friday evening, the camp was empty. My fear is dying alone in the woods and nobody noticing, so that fear wasn't true when I was here. At its peak, roughly 200 homeless people, drug dealers, and drug users occupied the camp. Anybody who wanted housing was given a place to go. Some didn't want it. Many just went home to their families. and They, they told us that, hey, I'm just going to go back to my family. By nightfall, the camp was gated and 24-hour security brought in to prevent anyone from sneaking back in. It'll remain like that through the weekend, and then Monday, the cleanup begins. And that will involve um, determining what hazards are here, how we're going to uh, mitigate those, what is going to be removed, and then what property is going to be stored for people to claim it within, uh, they have, we have to store it for 90 days. The homeless camp had become a lightning rod for Santa Cruz, not to mention a public health and safety concern. Syringes could be seen everywhere. Four people died here. There was a fire and Friday, a small explosion. Efforts to clear it out landed the homeless and the city in federal court. Police chief said this was something that needed to be done. Neighbors said it's about time. And this has become overwhelming and the drug problem and the all the stealing and everything going on has just uh, gotten to be quite a bit. So I think it was about time they cleared this out. And tonight the police chief telling me that the evacuation of this homeless camp with this was a smooth transition. No one was arrested. But again, the cleanup begins Monday and this could be considered a hazmat situation considering the number of needles that were found out here. Aaron. And Felix, you were saying that needles literally are everywhere. You're not exaggerating when you say that. I'm not exaggerating. Uh, the, the countless amount of needles, dozens if not hundreds of needles. Used needles, mostly probably used for heroin. One person out here described this place as an open drug market. Gives you an idea of what was going on here. All right, Felix, thank you. City crews say they will store away any valuables belonging to the homeless worth saving. And as you heard in Felix's report, they have 90 days to claim their items. And new information tonight regarding this man who was detained following, as, as Felix said, a small explosion inside the camp today. He was questioned by police and FBI. Now it turns out he was cooking a can of beans but failed to open the can, so it created a small explosion. No one was injured and the man has since been released.